to me shall not hunger, and who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father draws him. I will raise you up, and I will raise you up, and I will raise you up on the last day. Good morning. Today's a special day, the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. And um, we're grateful for St. Joseph. And sometimes he's taken for granted, but he's a very, you know, he's, if it wasn't for St. Joseph, we wouldn't have Jesus, the, the human Jesus, the way he is. Um, and uh, just a few little things about him. Well, first of all, May 1st, I guess in a lot of countries, not here, though, is, is like is Labor Day. And so kind of that's why Pope Pius XII kind of uh, established this day as, um, again, St. Joseph the Worker. And um, he was, again, a very dignified man, a model worker, a craftsman, and uh, provided for households and uh, all those kind of things. Here's a nice, another little thing about St. Joseph I enjoyed hearing about. His, he was silent, he didn't say much, right? We don't have to have any words he said, uh, maybe. But anyways, pretty, pretty much silent, but his actions spoke louder than his words. And he took Jesus and Mary through exile and danger and all kinds of other things, protected them. He was a model of integrity, industriousness, and gentle righteousness. And wouldn't we all like to be like that? In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, preparing ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first call to mind our sins. You're the mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of God. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph, under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do, may attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, over all these things put on love. That is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts. The peace which you were also called into one body. And be thankful. Whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever you do, do it from the heart, as for the Lord, not for men, knowing that you will receive from the Lord the due payment of the inheritance. Be slaves of the Lord Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, give success to the work of your hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that as it is past, or as a watch in the night. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness. May we shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants. For your glory be seen by your children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him, says the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, I in him. Just as the living Father has sent me, I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unless, unlike your ancestors, who ate and still died. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Um, today's First Friday, and um, how fitting to hear about the Holy Eucharist for Especially here at St. Mark, uh, First Friday is all about the Eucharist. We have the Mass, two Masses normally, and we have Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament uh, until 5 o'clock, and um, we go to shut-ins, and it's all about the Eucharist. Again, uh, the, the Mass is the epitome of it all, right? The, 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 what began at the Last Supper continues, and it's about the body and blood of Jesus, of course, the The, the bread and the chalice, right? The body and the blood. The, and today he spells it out, right? My flesh is true flesh. My blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, I in him. So, and then the same thing. What we normally do is go out to shut-ins and give communion. 
right? It's back following the ancient tradition that they would do that. They'd reserve part of the Blessed Sacrament and from the Mass and then take it out, and take it out to homes. So it's the core of our being, and it makes you think again of St. Joseph. St. Joseph was a worker, right? But his work was, you know, the craftsmanship he did in his shop, and the things he did to go out and help people. His work was, you know, raising Jesus. His work was husband of Mary. And uh, our work on First Friday is the Holy Eucharist. You know, proclaim it, live it, desire it, long for it. And again, for you who are unable to receive it's a very unique First Friday to hear all about this because we're usually leading into receiving communion. But again, we try our best to make the spiritual communion to in our heart, Lord, I desire you, I long for you inside of myself. Please come into me wholly and completely, as in communion. So we pray today that we do the work of Christ, like St. Joseph did the work of Christ, that the body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus would be strong in our life this day. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. In this month of Mary, we ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for us as we present our petitions, that we may be nourished and transformed by Christ in the Eucharist. We pray, risen Lord, hear our prayer, that the word of God may put an end to violence in the name of religion and between nations and peoples, we pray, risen Lord, hear our prayer that persecuted Christians throughout the world be protected by God in their homes, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for those workers and the dignity of work that restore people back to work. People find purpose in what they do. We pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased loved ones, on the feast forever with Christ in his heavenly banquet in heaven. The ones we love deeply, the ones who have died from the coronavirus, and we pray for Agnes Rogers and Corinne Nietzsche. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For any petitions you'd like to voice at this time. We pray, risen Lord, hear our prayer. Prayer in time of pandemic. Lord Jesus, you came to bring salvation to our world. You humbled yourself to accept death on the cross. Be with us as we confront the spread of the coronavirus with courage and hope. Be present to the sick and to those who accompany them in their suffering. Strengthen our medical professionals and caregivers. Comfort families who are separated from one another. Protect those who are at risk of the virus in their work. Grant wisdom in our civic officials and perseverance in scientists. Spare us from the ravages of this illness and console us in our uncertainty and fear. Unite us in hope, enlighten us in faith. Give us the grace as a church to love one another as you have loved us. Through the intercession of Heavenly Mother Mary, we make this intercession and place our trust in you, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. The fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, the fruit. Your goodness that we have received this wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, and come our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we please to offer this sacrifice of humble and contrite hearts. May my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of the Holy Church. God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings, which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, on the commemoration of Saint Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify and bless you. For this just man was given by God as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together in exaltation. May our voices we join praise you. With theirs in humble praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall to become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks you found us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and St. Mark, St. James, St. Joseph, all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may praise and worship you and give you glory through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Through him and with him and in him we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. We share a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. You should enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Jesus, I believe you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you this moment sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, you're already here. I unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God through him. Alleluia. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the sign of your love, we may enjoy forever the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, so uh, a few things now. Um, Three o'clock in uh, the head of the Catholic bishops is going to consecrate uh, the, the nation to, to, to Mary. And seven o'clock tonight, um, Bishop Persico will be doing that for the Diocese of Erie. And you can find that live stream on the Diocese of Erie web page. And I imagine the three o'clock thing, turn on EWTN. That'd be my guess. <laughs> Uh, and, okay, now we're going to have exhibition of the Sin of the Blessed Sacrament, and we'll have adoration till 12 noon. And again, anybody that's uh, watching there that is available, if you'd like to come to adore the Blessed Sacrament till 12 noon, we'll have benediction at 12 noon. Um, will the live stream at 12 noon? Okay, we'll live stream at 12 noon benediction. <laughs> That'll be a first. <laughs> And uh, again, if you come, please wear a mask and social distance, distancing. So now we'll have the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. Oh, save me. 